Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank the glory. Hallelujah. We are back again. Hallelujah. We give God the praise. We give God the praise tonight, for he is worthy to be praised. We give God the praise tonight, for God is worthy to be praised. Father, we bless you tonight. We invite your presence here tonight as we are about to discharge the function that you have given us. We call on that need tonight, God. We welcome thee, Holy Ghost. We welcome you, Holy Ghost. Take your glory and take preeminence tonight in the precious name of Jesus. Father, we bless and reference that name. We give you all the praise and all the glory. For there is no God like unto thee. Father, we bless you tonight. Great is your name and great to be praised. Take your glory and take your honor. Great God Almighty, we bless you tonight. We give you all the praise and all the glory. Be that exalted, be glorified, be magnified. Father, we exalt you tonight. We give you all the praise and all the glory. For there is no God like unto thee, and there is none that will be like thee. So we reference you tonight. Well, if you can share this video, if you can share our video, can you share our video tonight? We want to lay the foundation of understanding the mark of the beast and our introduction to the mark of the beast. So this is our teaching that I will be conducting by the special grace of God. And we are here to, I am here tonight, I'm here tonight, wherever you are this morning, this evening, to just lay the platform. Maybe I'm going to be on here like for 30 minutes by the special grace of God, just to lead this platform on understanding the mark of the beast or who is the beast, okay? How the beast came about. So we want to understand, we want to understand the beast, the attributes and uh, the behavior of the beast. So we want you folks to share our video if you can. Let me share this video to multiple uh, groups, then we can start from there by the special grace of God. Father, we thank you, but in so doing, let me try and hit up, up hit us up with some music. Well, the, the music that is about to play, I have no copyright to any music I will play in this video. I have no copyright. God bless you. Greetings, he has done. Greater things he will do unto the Lord. Be the glory. Great things he has done. Somebody say great things oh, he has done. Greater things he will do unto the Lord. Oh my God, be the glory. Great things he has done. Oh, great things he has done. I got no copyright. I'm about to play a music to share this live video, understanding the mark of the beast and who is the beast. So this just uh, uh introduction to what we gonna be teaching by the special grace of God. So we will not be on here long tonight by the grace of God, but we want to we want our folks to understand. We want our folks to understand the who is the beast. Who is the beast? Who is he? We want to know him, you know, where he comes from, where he originated from. So this is why we are here tonight to discuss, to just lay the platform, to lay the foundation of the beast. I don't know why the music I'm playing in the back. Yeah, thank you, Jesus. We want to give God the praise tonight. Father, we give you the praise. Give us strength to identify that which you have called us for in the name of Jesus. 
Give us the strength, O God, to identify that which, O Lord, you have called us for in the name of Jesus. That's not a problem. Hallelujah. So we are here tonight to discuss. But if you can share the video, just share this video with our friends and family. By the grace of God, we are here. Share to Divine Grace. Share to Prayer Time. Then I share to this other group. Hallelujah. Invite somebody tonight because what we're about to see here is very important. Father, I thank you tonight. I give you the praise of God for you. I want it to be praised. I give you all the glory and all the honor. Who is the beast tonight? Father, we invite your presence here. Give us the understanding to what will be taught here tonight in the name of Jesus. We give you the praise of God. We reference your name. We exhort you this night in the name of Jesus. We want if you can share this video, please do so that we can hit, so that we can set the platform for what we're about to say here tonight by the special grace of God. Everything we do here, it is by the grace of God. Amen. So we want to lay the foundation. We just want to lay the foundation tonight. As you see our caption up there, who is the beast? This is an introduction to what we will be teaching by the grace of God. Who is the beast? We want to understand who is the beast, okay, or the mark of the beast. Who is he? We want to know where he from. We want to know where the beast from. We want to know where it's originated from. We want to know how the beast was established. We want to know where it came from, we want to know the purpose of the beast. We want to know how the beast is going to affect generation. We want to know how the beast is going to affect generation. We, we want to know all of these things. We want to know all of these things by the special grace of God. So this is why I'm here to lay the platform tonight. Just this, just the platform that I'm laying tonight. We will not be all here for long. So this is why I want for folks to share the video as possible. As you can. So, first of all, before we can go through, I want us to pray tonight. Father, I thank you in the precious name of Jesus of Nazareth. I give you the praise. I give you the glory. I give you the honor for you. I want it to be praised. Take your glory and take your honor, Father. I leave the scene. You appear on this scene to talk to your people tonight, to teach your people tonight in the precious name of Jesus. We exhort you, we reference you, for there is no God that can be compared unto thee. We cover this program tonight with the blood of Jesus. We cover this entire service tonight with the blood of Jesus. Give us understanding, O oh God, to understand what we are about to teach it. Give us knowledge, O oh God, and wisdom that your words will be preached, will be taught with wisdom in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, we surround this entire area with the blood of Jesus. We thank you, O oh God, every attack, every sinking sin that the devil is plotting against this program, we come against him in the name of Jesus. We bless you, O oh God, tonight. We give you the praise. We reference you in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen and amen. First of all, we have our Bible here tonight, and uh, this is the this is the, the Holy Bible. So we're going to be reading, first of all, Revelation chapter 13. Revelation chapter 13, by the grace of God. Thank you, Jesus. Revelation chapter 13. We're going to be reading Revelation chapter 13. So, if you are with me, I just want you to join me in the book of Revelation. Revelation chapter 13. Let's see what the Bible says. And we will be reading uh, Revelation chapter 13. From one to very from one to eleven, where we be laying our platform tonight by the grace of God. 
And this book was written by John the Revelator, uh, who God gave the revelation to when he was on the eyes of Patmo after they left him alone to die. God revealed deep secrets to him concerning what will be unfolded in the war in the generation to come. So this is why it, it takes, the Bible says, he who have knowledge and wisdom, this is the mark of the beast. He must be able to calculate, calculate the mark of the beast. So I'm going to read this for us. It's a Revelation chapter 13. He said, And I stood upon, and I stood upon the sand of the sea, and saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven, seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns ten crowns, and upon his heads the name of blasphemy. And the beast which I saw was like unto a leper, and his feet were and his feet were as the feet of a bear, and his mouth as the mouth of a lion. And the dragon gave him, the dragon gave him power. The dragon, the dragon gave his power and his seal and great authority. And I saw, and I saw one of the, and I saw one of his hairs as it were wounded to death, and his, and and his deadly wound was healed. And all the world wonder after the beast. And they worship the dragon which gave power unto the beast. And they worship the beast. Say, who is like unto the beast? Who is able to make war with him? Mm. And there was and there was given unto him a mob speaking great things and blasphemies. And power was given unto him to continue forty and two months. And he opened his mouth in blasphemy against God to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle and them that dwell in heaven. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints and to overcome them and to overcome them. And the power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations and all that dwell upon upon the earth shall worship him whose names are not written. In the book of in the book of the land, slain from the foundations of the war. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captive, shall go into captivity. He that killer with the sword must be killed with the sword. He is the patient and the fit of the sins. Hallelujah. So wonderful people of God. We want to we want to understand first of all when we see the Bible talks about the Bible talks about in Revelation chapter 13. The Bible talks about first of all, let us lay the foundation as we read Revelation chapter 13 from 1 to verses number number 10. So as we as we read Revelation, we see here the Bible, the Bible, the Bible, the Bible lay all. The Bible lay out uh, some 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 things, which of course, after the Bible lay up and set up that, the Bible gave the interpretation of whatever that that is written in the Bible about uh, or, or revelations. So revelations also talks about. He said he saw the beast. He said, and I stood upon the sand of the sea. I stood upon the sand of the sea, and saw a beast rise out of the sea. And having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his upon his horns ten crown, and upon his heads the name of blasphemy. So first of all, we want to look at when we when the Bible talks about sea, the Bible talks about water. So understanding the revelational understanding and the biblical prophecy of revelation, the sea referred to multitude of people. Okay, the waters that Revelation talk about represent densely populated area so this is why the biblical prophecy were referring to the sea it was not talking about just the sea so the prophecy the biblical prophecy was referring to a densely populated area so the sea he saw the beast coming from all of the sea that is there was saw uh, authority coming from all of the authority coming from let's say a kingdom coming from all of the kingdom authority coming from among the people so this is why 
Revelation chapter 13 was talking about. And let me go back and and and, and, and illustrate or demonstrate what I, what what, I've, what I have just said. So as I said that in Revelation chapter one, in Revelation chapter 13, he said, and I stood upon the sand of the sea and saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns ten crowns, and upon his heads the name of blasphemy. So when the book of Revelation in biblical prophecy talks about sea, talks about water, referring to a densely populated area, water represents or the sea represents multitude of people, gallery of people, great nation, great people. So Revelation, first of all, Revelation reveal the truth of God and also reveal the counterfeit of Satan. So the entire book of Revelation, as I said, reveal the truth of God and the counterfeit of Satan. So we want to understand the true revelation of God, the truth of God that that, that revelation revealed. So we say here, and as God revealed the truth of himself in Revelation and revealed the counterfeit of the devil, remember, when we are in the army of God, when we are in uh, the kingdom of God, God's army must be able to keep God's commandment. Okay? So God's army must be able to keep the commandments of God. So if you are in the army of the United States, there are laws and orders within the army of the United States of America. So those that I found themselves in God's army must be able to keep God's commandment, must be able to keep God's ordinances, must be able to keep God's law. So as God's general, we must keep the commandment of God. As I said, Revelation revealed the true teachings of God, the truth of God, and revealed the counterfeit of the devil. So let us get that straight. And we go back to Revelation 13. We understand the Bible talk about he saw a beast coming from all of the sea. So the beast that comes from all of the sea, we will, when we go down in our teaching, we will understand what the beast represents. Who is the beast that comes from all of the sea? But well, as I said, from the sea, the sea represents densely populated people, densely populated area. The seas represent nation. The seas represent multitude of people. Uh, John was not referring to just the water, just the ocean. No, in biblical prophecy, John the Revelators were referring to the sea as 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 multitude of people, densely populated area. This is what John was talking about. I hope if you have your pen and paper, I want you to write that down in Revelation chapter thirty-one. Then he say, as I said, God's enter general, God's enter soldier. They must be God's commandment keeper. They must be God's law keeper. God's entire people must be able to keep God's law as you are in the army of God, as general of God. You must be able to keep God's commandment. You must be able to keep God's law. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We gave you the praise tonight. We gave you the praise. So here we want to understand. So we say here, what we wrote here, we said, the Antichrist power of prophecy is the system of the papacy in the Rome Catholic Church it is the message that they promote that suffering the Antichrist okay so we say here is that the Antichrist Bible power in biblical prophecy the Antichrist Bible in biblical prophecy maybe should I go back to to reiterate the foundation or upon the seas, waters that John talked about. Yes, let me do that. As I said from the Bible in Revelation chapter 13, which we are studying from this morning. So Revelation talks about, I stood upon the, the sand of the sea and saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having, having seven heads and ten horns. Then when John in his Revelation on the eyes of Patmo saw the beast rising out of the sea. John was not referring to a physical beast. John was not referring to the revelator, was not referring to, to a monster. The revelator was not referring to, to, 
to, to uh, a fearful thing. No, the revelator was referring to, to a system. And the system was coming out of the people. So the waters that the revelator talk about, it is, it is, it is a densely populated area, as I said. And it is a multitude of people, great nation, great kingdom, great people. And he said that he saw the beast rising out of what? The sea. The sea in biblical prophecy represents nation, represents a multitude of people, represents a densely populated area. So, and I said, Revelation revealed the true teachings of God and God's faithfulness. And also, Revelation also revealed the counterfeit of Satan. So, we want to understand, like I said, God's army, God's entire general must be God's entire commandment keeper. God's entire soldier must be God's entire people that keep his laws. God's entire men, men and women must be the people that keep the ordinances of God. So we we'll understand. So as I said, the Antichrist prophecy, listen to me. The Antichrist prophecy of the system, of the system of the papacy, it is what? It is the Roman, I will say this, it is a Roman Catholic church. It is the message that the that they promote that surfacing the power to promote the power of Satan. <laughs> Are we together? So I said the Antichrist power of prophecy, it is the system of the papacy. Now, if we understand what is papacy, papacy is authority, papacy is power. Papacy is, is someone that 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 is in authority. Papacy is someone that have the authority to do whatever they want to do. So papacy is is it is it is authority. So the antichrist of, of prophecy in Revelation, it is a system of the papacy. So the antichrist here is not the antichrist here. It is not a beast that coming from the sea, okay? The physical sea that we see. It is not the beast that coming from the physical sea. The Antichrist prophecy in Revelation, it is a system of the papacy. Oh God, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It is the system, the Antichrist prophecy that Revelation talks about, that he saw the beast coming from out of the sea, okay? It is the system. It is the system that comes out of the papacy, the authority of the papacy, the message that they are preaching today, the message that they are giving today. It is the message that surfacing the, the promotion of the Antichrist, the message in the biblical prophecy that to understand antichrist the antichrist it is the system of the rome catholic church and the message they are preaching from the office of the papacy it is the message that surfacing the system of the beast hallelujah 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 thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus Father, we give you the praise. We give you the praise. Our Lord, our God, we give you the praise. So we said the Antichrist power has started to change God's time and law. The Antichrist power. I wish people would understand what I'm saying tonight. First of all, I said from the beginning here, John talks about a beast coming from all of the sea. The beast was now physical beast. The beast, it is a power. It is a system that was coming for all of the that were coming for all of the people, all of the nation, all the kingdom that what John was referring to. So we said in Revelation here, it revealed the true teachings of God and the counterfeit of Satan. And remember that God's entire soldier must be able to keep God's commandment as a soldier in God's army. So we say, the antiquated power of prophecy is the system of the papacy. And papacy is authority. The antiquated prophecy, it is the system of the papacy. Papacy is authority. Papacy is power. Papacy is, 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 is something that has to do with leadership. Okay? So 
the Antichrist power is a system of the papacy. The Antichrist or the beast that John saw, the revelator saw coming from under the sea, it was not physical beast. It was not the beast that, that run in the forest. No, it is a system that comes from the papacy. That's what John was talking about. I pray that God gave you understanding as you teach the message, the introduction tonight in the name of Jesus. So we say the Antichrist power has taught to change the time and laws of God. So the first thing that the Antichrist mess with, with the he messes with the calendar. He changed the calendar to fit his cycle, to fit his system. It was the first thing he taught to change and which he did. And we're going to come to that. The first thing he changed was what? Well, was the calendar that the Antichrist messed with to, for the world to fit into his system. So he changed that. So we're going to come to that. So he said the power had changed, the, the system, the power of the system had changed the day of the Sabbath. That is, we know, we the Sabbath was made for us, so we got right over the Sabbath. That, of course, we know, over the Sunday from the first day, and which, of course, it was the Antichrist that changed that. So we said the book of Daniel and Revelation clearly revealed the identity of the Antichrist, the beast, the power built on the truth counterfeit. Then in the book of Revelation, we will now examine what the mark of the beast is in the book of Revelation. So we're going to open Revelation chapter 13, 1 to 10. I'll read that quick. He said, and I stood upon the sand of the sea, and saw a beast rise out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns, ten crowns, and upon his heads, the name of blasphemy. Hallelujah. He said, And the beast which I saw was like unto a leper, and his feet were, were as a feet of a bear, and his mouth as the mouth of a lion. And the dragon gave him his power and his seat, and great authority. We're talking about the papacy. And he said, and I saw one of his hairs as it were wounded to death, and his and his and his deadly wound was healed. And all the war wonder and the other war wonder after the beast. And they worshiped the dragon, which gave power unto the beast. They worshiped the beast, saying, Who is like unto thee? Who is able to make war with him? And he said, And there was given unto him a, a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies and Power was given unto him, continue forty and two months, and he opened his mouth in blasphemy against God to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle, and then that dwell in heaven. Hallelujah. People of God, I want you to open your ears so much. Many of us nowadays, preachers, we don't teach this lesson, but it's very important for us to understand what the lesson said. Then I said in verses number seven, it was given unto him to make war with the sin and to overcome them, and power was given him. All kindreds and tongues and nations and all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb of the lamb slain from the foundations of the war. So we say here, Revelation chapter 13, identify two beasts. Revelation chapter 13, identify two beasts. Okay? One rises out of the sea. The second power came from the earth. So the first beast that came from out of the sea, we want to understand who was the first beast that came from among the people. So we say here, the paper said power. Listen to me. The paper said power is the first beast that came from out of the sea, according to Revelation chapter 13, 1 to 10. So the first beast that came from out of the sea, or the first beast that came from among the people. Because as I said, Revelation 13 talks about, talk about sea. He's not referring to the Atlantic Ocean. It is a biblical prophecy referring to multitude of people, densely populated area. So the system, the first beast that came from among the people was the authority of the papacy. Somebody said papacy. The power of the papacy that came from the sea. So John referred to it as the beast that came from among the people. So the first beast that came, the first beast that John saw, coming out of the sea, coming from among the people, was the system of the papacy. 
Hallelujah. Was the system of the papacy. So the papacy power is the first piece that came out of the sea. So in Revelation 17, 15, he said, what in biblical prophecy represent people? Say, in Revelation 13 means power coming from power coming from among the people. In Revelation 13, as I said, power coming from among the people. The water was not the physical water, but the water was multitude of people. So power coming from among the people. The first beast was the beast that was coming from among the people. Was the power that, that was coming from among the people in Revelation chapter 13. So in biblical prophecy, what does a beast represent? If you understand what the beast represent, I want you to tap me your comment if you get any understanding. I want you to tap me a comment in our comment box below. Then we will deal with the comment, we'll deal with your with your with the understanding. So we said the beast, so the beast represent the kingdom of kingdoms. The first beast that came from the mark of the beast represent. We say in biblical prophecy, what does a beast represent? The beast represent kingdom of kingdoms. So the beast arise, the beast arising from the sea is a kingdom coming out of a kingdom. You see what we talk about? The beast that were coming from out of the sea, it was a kingdom coming from a kingdom. So we will stop here tonight by the grace of God. A kingdom coming from a kingdom. We will just lay this little platform and stop here tonight by the special grace of God. So here yeah, it is a kingdom coming from out of a kingdom. So what is the representation of the beast. It is the question. What next? Tomorrow I will add it on the screen. So in, in biblical prophecy, what does a beast represent? So I say here, the beast represents kingdom of kingdoms. Then I came down here and say, the beast that was coming from the sea, it is a kingdom coming out of a kingdom. As I said, Revelation 13 talks about the beast coming from the ocean, or the beast coming from the sea. It was a kingdom that was coming from in a kingdom to stay alone. Okay? So that was a beast that was coming from among the kingdom. So we say, a kingdom coming from inside a kingdom. Okay? So we say, the beast, I will just stop. I don't want to go far tonight in the name of Jesus. The kingdom coming out of a kingdom. That is the total representation of the beast. It is a kingdom coming out of a kingdom. We'll stop here tonight. We'll get a lot of references to lay out tomorrow. We will end our broadcast tonight by the special grace of God and pick up from where we start from in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you tonight. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. We thank you, O oh God, for your wonderful teaching that you have given us. We give you all the praise and all the glory for you are worthy to be praised. Great God Almighty, we thank you tonight, O oh God. Father, we reference you. We thank you tonight. We give you the praise. We give you the praise. We thank you tonight, great God Almighty. We reference you. Our Lord, our God, we reference you. We thank you for the wonderful introduction you have given us. In the precious name of Jesus, we give God the praise. Have a blessed evening. God bless you and stay blessed. Remember, don't forget, as I said, who is, what is the representation of the beast? The representation of the beast, it is what? In Revelation chapter 13, it is Revelation chapter 13, 1. What is the presentation or the representation of the beast? It is what? Kingdom coming from out of a kingdom. So that's the total representation of the beast that John saw on, on the same Look into the ocean, look into the sea, and saw a beast coming out of the sea. So I want to conscientize you tonight. So the beast arising from the sea is a kingdom coming out of the kingdom. Tonight we will stop here by the special grace of God. God bless you and have a wonderful time. will do
God bless you and have a wonderful night.